What's up everyone, Greg here, and today we're going to take a look at some of the new features and changes in the Mac OS Mojave Beta. So one of the first things you'll notice as soon as we boot up the computer and install Mac OS Mojave, we actually have an option to go to a new dark mode that is in Mac OS Mojave. This is the first time Apple's added a complete system-wide dark mode to Mac OS, or to any of their operating systems for that matter. So let's go ahead and use the dark mode because that is new. So we're going to select dark mode, and as you can see, it already changes the window that we have on Mac OS Mojave. So as you can see on Mac OS, I have a very cluttered desktop. So one of the first features I actually wanted to talk about is Stacks. Now Stacks actually gives you the ability to clean up your desktop quickly by smartly organizing and grouping content that's very similar in Mac OS. So let's go over to View, and you'll actually see that you have a new option to use Stacks. When you hit Use Stacks, it's actually going to group all of your desktop icons into a very neat file system so you can actually see that you have all of your applications here, and if you click on it, you can actually get your applications. So you can see I have Civilization and a Game Capture HD over there. If we go over and hit Images, it's going to show all of the images. If we go over to PDF Documents, it's going to show all the PDF documents that we have available. Mac OS Mojave makes it very easy just to clean up everything and organize it if you are a messy person like me. So now that the desktop's all nice and cleaned up, you can actually see the new wallpaper in Mac OS Mojave. What's nice about this new wallpaper is that it'll actually change depending on the day you have it. Change, obviously, it's kind of hard to show off in a video when you're kind of just showing it off at one point. But yeah, when you're using this during the day, the Mac OS Mojave wallpaper actually changed to a lighter tone. And it just changes throughout the day, so you kind of get a nice dynamic wallpaper. That so as you can see, as you start opening up all the other system applications, you can see that they all have these new dark mode features. So all the backgrounds are kind of in like this nice light black color. That doesn't really hurt your eyes when you're using it, especially in like a bright setting. You can see in the Photos app how it looks. It kind of looks similar if you've ever used Final Cut Pro. Kind of that similar black background. Uh, you can see in the calendar app over here, you kind of get that nice black background and the messages too. So any of the applications that you're opening up on Mac OS are going to have these nice new dark backgrounds if you choose to use the dark mode. So one of the other big things about Mac OS Mojave is actually the redesigned app store. So last year they actually redesigned the app store on iOS and now that experience is kind of coming over to Mac OS. So as you open the new Mac OS app store, you can actually see that you get these nice new tabs, you get discover, create, work, play, develop, categories, and updates. You can see the new design over here and all the cool little design element changes they did for the Mac App Store. It looks very nice. So if you go over here and click into something, you can see stories about the applications that you're going to be shopping for. It's a very nice update that really shows off a nice way to browse new applications. The Mac App Store has kind of been neglected in recent years, so it's really nice to see this new redesign. And So one of the other new features in Mac OS Mojave was some updates to Apple's Finder. So you can see now that we have some new views for the Finder over here. If you actually can see scrollable content on the bottom of the Finder, you also have quick actions on the right of the Finder. So this is a picture over here. You can go ahead and just rotate it left immediately. Uh, you could do a markup as well. So if you wanted to grab something in here and draw around the picture, you get really nice quick actions in Finder itself. Some of the other cool things in Finder is this option to use Quick Look to even trim a video. So you get all these little shortcuts while you're in Finder to do quick applications. You can even trim the video right here in Finder and you don't have to open up any other external applications to just do some simple edits or add some new things to some projects you're working on. Mac OS Mojave also brings an updated screenshot tool. So if you go ahead and take a screenshot, you'll actually see that you get a nice little preview in the bottom right corner of the desktop. If you go ahead and click that, you can actually get to some quick actions like on iOS. So if you wanna mark up the document, you could do that. If you need to type out something inside the document, if you wanna go ahead and crop it out, um, you can go ahead and add signatures and all that kind of fun stuff. So you get some nice new quick actions as you take a screenshot. You can also set where you want the screenshots to go so it just doesn't revert right to the desktop when you take a screenshot. So one of the more interesting updates to macOS Mojave is a project that Apple has been working on for a couple of years now to bring iOS apps to macOS. So a lot of these apps are actually based on iPad apps that Apple is porting over to Mac OS. This has been a multi-year project they've been working on for a while, and it's actually not available for developers yet. That will be available for developers in 2019. So you can see one of the first applications that is using this new technology is actually Apple's News app. So this is basically a version of the iPad app that has been brought over to Mac OS. 
So you can kind of see it has a very similar layout, but it does have windowing and stuff like that, stuff that would make sense on Mac OS. This is kind of a really cool app to bring over, not really too hard or anything to actually bring it over to Mac OS. But finally, Apple News is on Mac OS. I actually use this a lot on iPad and iPhone, so it's really nice to actually have it right at my fingertips on the Mac operating system. So aside from news, we also have Apple Stocks. This is another app that has been ported over from iOS to the Mac OS Mojave. As you can see, it looks very similar to the iPad counterpart as well. You can resize your windows and stuff like that as well. But again, you kind of have the same basic layout as you have on iPad with your stocks on the left-hand side. And then you have the new Apple News features on the right-hand side. Again, taking a look at another app, we have Voice Memos over here, which is brought over to Mac OS. And again, very similar to iOS apps. You go ahead and just hit record and you can start recording just anything you want. And again, it works just as Voice Memos would on iOS. So of all these newly designed apps on macOS Mojave that are using the iOS framework, I think the most welcome addition actually is the Home app for me. So what's cool is now that you actually have the ability to use the Home app and set up your lights, turn them off, turn them on, or any of the other smart accessories you might use in HomeKit. So you actually can see that you have all of your HomeKit options here. You can see you have a video camera on the bottom left, you have the lights, you have the HomePods, and now you can actually control them on Mac OS for the first time ever. So you can actually see I have some of the lights on behind me using the Philips Hue lighting system. So I can actually go ahead and click them and turn them off and you'll notice that they actually turn off in the background. You can also use Siri commands as well. So I can say, turn off the office. Okay, most of the lights are off. So it is just really cool to finally have some of these apps that are actually running on iOS and macOS frameworks together, kind of a combined system of running both of these apps and they're actually running on a Mac. It's a welcome addition and I really can't wait to see in 2019 when developers have access to this. So some of your favorite apps that you use on iOS might be easily added to macOS. So another really cool feature on macOS Mojave is actually a thing called continuity when using things like the camera on your iPhone. So if we go over here in pages, you can actually see that if you go ahead and right click, you'll have the option to take a photo or scan a document. Now, if you go over ahead and click take a photo, you're gonna notice that the camera app actually launches on your iPhone. Now you can go ahead and take a picture. And when you take that picture, you can actually hit use photo. When you use that photo, it automatically goes to wherever you want on Mac OS. So this is a really cool option for importing photos and documents right into your applications. I can definitely see getting a lot of use of this, especially for things like Final Cut, Adobe Photoshop, and Luminar, uh, even in Pages documents and Notes documents as well. It's just a really powerful way to use your iOS devices with your Mac OS devices and have them working in unison. Another addition to Mac OS Mojave is actually in Safari, where it will actually limit ad tracking while you're using Safari. It'll block certain things like super cookies while using Safari, and it'll actually make it more secure, more safe, and lead to less targeted advertisements like this on the right. So as you're going through different websites, you won't be targeted with all those annoying ads. Another cool thing in Safari for Mac OS Mojave is actually the addition of fave icons. This has been a long time coming. Tons of browsers have fave icons. What those basically are is if you click it, you'll notice that you actually have the icons right here available to see in Safari. Those were never available before. So as you can see, we have the recode icon here and the verge icon here. Makes it super simple to see what tabs are which websites while you're using Safari. Should have been there a long time ago, but finally it's here on Mac OS Mojave. Okay, everyone, and those are just some new features and changes on macOS Mojave. As we dig deeper into macOS Mojave, I'm sure we're going to find a bunch of new changes and some new features before they actually launch it in fall. But these are just some of the new more prominent features in macOS Mojave. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to my channel to see more. I'm gonna have more content coming out later this week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.